Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, what we've seen over the past few sessions is an inability by the bulls to get over the 2088.75 highs. They've had since Friday to do it, um, and now the weight of it all seems to be a little bit too much because you've seen uh, 84 half, which was a key area yesterday. Let me zoom in a little bit here. It's a 15 minute chart. Uh, you're seeing 84 half, which was key here and here. You saw that give way in the overnight. You saw it get retested and become resistance. That opened up a move down to the old highs, 2079. You've got the weekly pivot coming in here at about 2080.30. Just tried to retake that, made a pronounced lower high at 83 and now we're trading down into the 77s from here I would expect a test of 71 area which is the s2 uh, uh, support area uh, with respect to the pivots and it's also matching lows from last Tuesday 71 72 so it's already broken a couple of potential floor slash support areas and if 2071 goes, I think that absolutely opens up a move down to the middle band on the daily chart with potentially uh, that could be muted by a move down to 63, which would be the area of the nine day uh, simple moving average. If the bears are going to get their one red day, and I was saying on Sunday, I think they're going to get a red day. Today is a very good candidate to be that red day. Um, whether it's a particularly ugly red day remains to be seen, but right now the bears are doing what they need to do as far as breaking key levels. As long as they keep those key levels above them, they should be fine. What they don't want to do is what they did yesterday, which was move down to 76, then lose weekly pivot on the way back up. If 76 happens to be the low on this dip, and it's not, we went and did... We went and did 77 quarter. This is a 76 from yesterday. If 76 is the end of the line on this move down, it's going to create matching lows with yesterday. And what we've seen during this uptrend um, is that those areas tend to be floors. So if the bears are going to make their run, they have to break 76 and move to 71. If 76 holds and they lose weekly pivot uh, at 80.30, then basically we just have another morning dip scenario. So the Bears have a chance, but there's still plenty of ways they can screw it up. Uh, they can't get complacent. If they're going to move the market down, they need to, to keep on it, stay on it, and close below weekly pivot today. All right, everybody have a great day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, princetontrader.com. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Train them well, everybody.